Well, messaging is a pretty exciting place today. If you look at operators and the way the world has evolved over the course of the last few years, we've now moved from having a vertically integrated network with vertically integrated services and slowly but surely have moved towards delayering the network and moving towards an IP multimedia subsystem, all oriented, of course, under uh, on, on an infrastructure that's all oriented around IP technologies. Now, this means that the applications that used to be vertically integrated where the operators had services that were delivered in a closed fashion to the end consumer or the, to the end enterprise have now been opened up. And this means that the operator now has an opportunity to deliver some very high value services over that infrastructure, but it's also opened it up to potential competition as well. So the challenge of the operator and the whole messaging space is to be able to deploy new innovative applications that are better, more leading edge, and serve and deliver higher value and more productivity to the end enterprise and consumer than there would be competitors that are coming from other spaces. So I think it's a pretty exciting space. The, the value of interactive mobile media to enterprises is actually fairly significant. If you think about what an enterprise needs to do today, especially small business, small business needs to be able to be nimble, active, be able to respond to their customers, respond to the marketplace. The last thing that they need is to be bogged down being the IT guys. The last thing that they need is to spend precious capital buying PBXs. The last thing that they need is to spend precious time that they have trying to integrate applications that don't make any sense for them to do it. They can have the service provider deliver a service which enables them to have a rich unified communications environment, deliver collaboration, deliver conferencing, audio conferencing, video conferencing, fax capability, all of this through a service at a nominal fee. And when you think about the high level of productivity that an enterprise gets out of that, the small business enterprise, and by the way, also the extremely large enterprise that has that looks very similar to a carrier, above 25,000 seats, you begin to see how this equipment, both through a carrier offered uh, to the end a small business enterprise, and also for a very large enterprise wanting to deploy it for themselves, makes a lot of sense in terms of the scale and the capability and the high productivity. So we're actually moving into a different generation altogether of mobile media. And what we like to call this is interactive mobile media, iMobile media. Interactivity, we think, is the key to the future of how interaction changes at the mobile user and the way they interact with the, cons the, the, the media that they're consuming. Increasingly what will happen is advertisement will be available to the end consumer and advertising will help to defray the cost of providing a, a, a mobile service. In addition to that, the consumer will have the opportunity not just to be fed rote information that comes to them in a broadcast form, but also to respond to information and as they respond, their demographic and their preferences will be better known to the, to, the, to the system behind the scenes. And so therefore, the next thing that they get served will be better tailored to what they want. And as they interact with the system, the interactivity is what is the key to the user getting what they want to see and in the demographic and in the form that they would like to have as a part of the community that they want to be a part of. Well, I think a lot of the leading edge operators really understand this. They understand that mobility is going to be the vehicle by which the vast majority of the consumers in the marketplace in the world really begin to interact. You know, the, the, the PC will be significantly outstripped by the number of mobile mobile devices that are available over the, over the course of the next few years. So in some of the some of the studies have shown that about half the planet, about four billion people, will be connected over the course of the next three years. That's pretty significant considering the fact that most of those people don't have PCs and that the mobile phone is the first thing that that they touch to connect them to the grid if you think if you think of that and think of that from that from the perspective of the operator the operator that is a leading-edge operator now has the opportunity to get into the hearts and minds and put their brands into the hearts and minds of these new users coming online by being able to take advantage of media and interactive mobile media not only will they be able to get their brand into the hands of the uh, into the hands of these consumers and enterprise users but they will also be able to then bring advertisement and be able to subsidize their ability to go to market and also and, and enable them enable themselves to have a diversified revenue stream by having advertisement as a revenue stream typical ARPU as a revenue stream and then of course the results of the interactivity then generates a database that's also available as a revenue stream as well 
Operators really have an advantage today because they own the network. They understand their locale. They understand the, serv the, the service area in which they serve. They know the small businesses. They know their reactions. They know, the, the, in essence, the demographic that they serve. They're in a much better position than any outside application vendor on a global basis coming in to try to sell applications. But service providers have to move quickly. They have to move quickly to deploy applications that solidify their position in the marketplace and enable them to grow revenue and gain share. If they can react quickly then they'll be better positioned to take advantage of this infrastructure changeover that they've created that then enable them to take advantage of this IP multimedia subsystem and but they do that by deploying applications that drive differentiation better than the next guy coming along